This video is based on Moth Flame Optimization Algorithm and we will try to understand what is this algorithm all about, how it is working, its mathematical model, certain assumptions used in this algorithm and where we can use this algorithm. As we know, moth are the fancy insects like this and they are almost similar to butterflies. As you can see here, moth are similar to the family of butterflies. Here we have certain features about moth. They are active at night and they can fly in straight line. They fly by maintaining a fixed angle with respect to the moon and this is a very effective mechanism for traveling long distance in straight path. They have thick body, dull color as you can see as comparison to a butterfly. We have thick body and here we have thin body dull color and you can see here bright color. Moth help in crop production and seed production and they are frequently attracted toward moonlight, artificial light or light bulb. Moth life cycle has four stages egg from egg to larva, larva to pupa and pupa to moth. So this algorithm is developed in 2015 and it is a nature inspired population based algorithm that is basically inspired by moth behavior in the nature and author compared this algorithm with different nature inspired algorithm and seven real engineering problems. Here we have certain applications where we can use this algorithm for the training of multi-layer perceptron, multi-area power system, feature selection facial emotion recognition, economic load dispatch problem and many more. Now we have certain key points for this algorithm. Moth population, flames, fitness function and decision variables. So in this algorithm we have candidate solution as moth and problem variables are the position of moth in the search space and moth can fly in one dimensional space or in two dimensional space or in three dimensional space or in hyper dimensional space. Here moth and flames both are solution. Here moth are search agents. They move around in the search space and flame are the moth best position. As we know moth can fly easily in real life but in this algorithm how we can update moth position with respect to the flame. So for that we will use this equation here. This is moth. Here I represent total number of individuals. That is the population size. This is the jet flame. And here we are using a spiral function of moth that is denoted by S. This spiral function or you can say logarithmic spiral function is chosen as main update mechanism for each moth. Here this is the distance between moth and flame. V is the constant and here you can see T is the random number that is the normally distributed random value within minus 1 and 1. In real life they can fly easily and they in the random position. So for the randomness in this algorithm we are using a random number that is t. Using this equation we can allow moth to move around flame and we can compute the distance between moth and flame using this equation and we can update the number of flames in each iteration using this equation here this is the current iteration maximum number of iteration and this is the maximum number of flames. Now you can see the pseudo code for this algorithm. First, we will initialize all the important parameters. After that, we will initialize the moth position randomly in the search space and then update number of flames using this equation and then calculate the fitness values for the each moth in the current population using a fitness function. After that, in the step five, if iteration is one, then update moth position using this else using this. After that we will calculate the distance 
for the corresponding moth and update the position and in the end display the best solution obtained. Now we will try to understand how this algorithm is working with numerical example. Now by following certain steps you can solve numerical example for this algorithm. First we have certain assumptions that play major role in this algorithm for the simplicity. So for the simplicity of this algorithm we have certain assumptions. First assumption is first moth position is always updated with respect to the best flame that you can see in the step 6. Here if iteration is 1 then we will update by this else this. So first moth position is always updated with respect to the best flame. Next is after updating the list of flames the flames are sorted based on their fitness value so that moth can update their position with respect to the corresponding flame. And the last moth always update its position with respect to the burst flame. Now we have specific flames for each moth. Now question is here that we are using specific flames for the each moth because if all moth get attracted to a single flame all of them converge to a point that's why all of them are not attracted toward single flame and here specific flames are provided to each moth to prevent local stability. So we have different flames in this algorithm for each moth. So first we will initialize all the important parameters, population size, current iteration, maximum number of iteration, lower bound, upper bound and decision variable. Suppose this is the initial population and you can see all the values are within the bound. Now using a fitness function we can calculate the fitness value for each individual in the current population and then select the best and burst solution. Best means minimum value, burst means maximum value. Now main loop for this algorithm start here. Check the stopping criteria. Until stopping criteria is not matched, we will continue the loop. Once this stopping criteria is matched, stop and display the best solution that you obtained in the previous iteration. Right now condition is true. So calculate the number of flames using this equation and after that we will update moth position right now iteration is 1 so according to first assumption we will update first moth position with respect to west flame so we will perform this part after that we will update moth positions so for that we will use these equations now inside this loop first we will update R and T here R is the linearly decreasing from minus 1 to minus 2 over a course of iteration and this is the random number for the randomness and now after that calculate the distance for corresponding moth and update their position. So we will follow certain equations in order to update moth position after that until stopping heart area is not matched we will repeat the loop and in the end we will display the best solution that you obtained in the previous iteration. So by following certain steps you can solve numerical example for this algorithm. So that's all about this algorithm. If you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video.